boat here. There it is. Uh, you can see I actually had a lot of difficulty drawing the boat too. Um, had to erase and uh, redraw it um, multiple times. And uh, it really impaired the, uh, you know, um, war on the paper a lot. But you can see the degree uh, or the scroll being um, tied up in a neat little bow. Um, uh, also, I hypnotized to even draw in present. Um, this one, um, I'm trying to think if it had any specific meaning. Uh, other than, like, if there was a song associated with it or anything else. I'm trying to think. I don't think so, necessarily. Um, oh, wait. I do remember, actually. Um, this actually correlated as well with uh, Black Lives Matter. And then when um, I actually um, referenced somebody that even, didn't even tell me something um, specifically... Uh, I mean, somebody that is, uh, I mean, you know, um, he's just more of an acquaintance, an acquaintance. Um, <clears throat> I know, I, I know who he is. Um, he's a nice person, nothing wrong with him. Just, um, you know, uh, not a close personal friend, um, never exchanged phone numbers necessarily or, um, associated very much out of uh, school, but, um, his name was Damien Bowen and, uh, while I was in jail, um, um, it was actually a reference to, um, PTSD and, um, the present. So, um, let's see. I was hypnotized to think that he was going to give me a gift, um, PTSD metaphor. Whoops, sorry about that. So the gift that I was hypnotized to think that I, uh, or present, um, uh, metaphorically, um, was um, since PTSD is a disorder um, regarding reliving a previous experience, something that happened in the past, um, you know, something that happened at a different time, right? Um, like time. So, or um, yeah, anyways, <clears throat> um, and then, let's see, so, I'm actually going to, um, oh, that, whoa, that's actually really good evidence, too, I didn't even notice that, Bowen, because, um, if you take the E and the N off of the, um, his name, let's just go ahead and cover that up, and you see, oh, everything is wrapped up in a neat little bow <laughs> anyways um so uh even though he was never contacted or even um told me anything regarding this uh specifically um <clears throat> see and this is what i mean by this is actually really good evidence because um you know i didn't even notice know the specific reason for why it was him um you know because I was also hypnotized to think of uh, two uh, other friends of mine that were um, black while I was in a room that had um, black light, um, brown side written on the table. Um, and uh, it was a cue for me to think of this. But um, so um, anyways, moving on. So PTSD is a um, disorder relating to um, reliving previous experiences and, um, the present that Damien Bowen gave me, um, was, uh, basically the, um, understanding of, uh, the present moment, um, in time. So the present was a metaphorical concept of, uh, you know, I'm um, staying in the present moment in time um, instead of reliving past negative, traumatic past experiences. Um, and uh, uh, oh, I also remember um, because uh, 
let's see so this is also cued and triggered because um let's see normally i wouldn't include um a person's name in this specifically he may become very very famous for it um it's a good thing he's a nice guy to be honest <laughs> works out well in the situation so great but um anyways um uh i think it was uh let's see oh um there were a few different references um because uh oh wow and this kind of goes back in a circle too so um the uh Let me see, um, this, let me see this picture. Yeah, wherever it is. Um, oh, that's right, right here, dead person, okay. Um, so this was a reference towards, um, um, I was hypnotized to think of, uh, actually Merlin by g e z for one, um, because of my grandmother. Um, but, uh, let's see, so, Oh, wait, your power, that was supposed to represent, oh, that's right, nuclear power plant, plant tower thing, okay, that makes sense. Anyways, hmm. regardless of such, um, uh, there were a few different songs by Marilyn Manson I remember I was writing down, and it was one of the songs, I can't remember which one it was, um, and uh, it was supposed to ref represent my grandmother hypnotizing me, being like um, stabbing a knife or a dagger through my chest. Um, let me think. There is a song called uh, Dissociative. Um, I don't think it was that one. It was uh, one of... Um, newer songs I believe I mean one of his hit songs sorry about that not newer songs um but regardless of such um yeah uh <clears throat> um so uh where the uh present tied in was um uh, I remember, because uh, I was hypnotized to draw the dead person on accident, um, and even to think of uh, Marilyn Manson, and then, um, uh, let's see, um, oh, that's right, uh, okay, so I was hypnotized to draw, um, oh, that's right, that's right, because, um, a program designed for um, to uh, try to attempt to approach world hunger, um, and uh, this would have been, you know, most uh, relevant to, um, of course, uh, most necessary and needed out in uh, Africa. So, you know, that's where the Black Lives Matter aspect came in, um, and uh, it was a. Uh, I was in a test to think it meant. Um, <sighs> Uh, let's see, I was sanitized to think it meant, wow, that gnosis is really, really inhibiting me right now. Um, uh, because this also involves Kanye West, um, because, uh, before he actually, um, and this was, um, you know, that first time around when I was in jail, before he attempted to run for president, um, I was released from the jail, I believe, like in September or October. Um, I think late September. Or maybe um, 
sometime in October, actually. I can't remember, regardless. <clears throat> so, I, uh, that's, um, also, so the hypnosis is extremely inhibiting me right now. Sorry about that. Um, because this is really convicting evidence, too, though. But, um, let's see, stronger. Um, so, I was sanitized to, for, um, because I wanted to write the song Stronger by Kanye West. Um, oh, that's not really exactly written the best but anyways um so i i wanted to write that but um what ended up happening and this is where the hypnosis is really just inhibiting me right now um i <clears throat> um and the purpose of this is to basically prevent people from actually watching the video so this is really good evidence that i'm being really abused a lot with hypnosis right now um Anyways, so this is where, like, uh, there was a, you know, uh, quite a large metaphorical example that specifically pertained to, um, you know, uh, world hunger and farming. Um, so basically that uh, eggs are very, um, because this was cued by uh, when I was served a um, meal with eggs um, in the jail. And, um, so, uh, eggs are very, very cheap and affordable generally, um, can, uh, be produced basically in large amounts, would be, uh, you know, um, fairly, uh, <clears throat> um, and, uh, you know, of course, there are, um, some ethical considerations taken into consideration with how the, um, animals would be farmed and the chickens would be farmed and hens would be farmed but um the uh, point that i'm getting at is you could uh you know um have a surplus of eggs to be able to feed um a large amount of people um if necessary uh produce a surplus of eggs and um uh you know quite affordably and um everything along those lines uh which is the advantage also how eggs are very um you know, uh, nutrient dense, um, high in protein, uh, good, you know, um, uh, you know, can provide necessary nutrition. Anyways, so the hypnosis is inhibiting me. The hypnosis is inhibiting me. This is abuse. This is a, this is really abusive. This is extremely abusive. Anyways, um, I'm going to actually go ahead and move this writing here from Kite and move it over. But, um, there we go, now I have more room, so, I wrote Stunger, reference to Kanye West, um, there would have been another song, um, because I, I remember I was thinking about, um, And ironically, Kanye West actually ran for president after this, the same year, shortly after this. Now, this happened, I believe, like, um, uh, I think it was after August, probably in September, when I ended up writing this. Um, and uh, there was actually another metaphor relating death threats and um, Kanye West, but because um, he was wearing a uh, bulletproof vest. Um, so, regardless of such, ow, my back, okay, so moving on, um, that's right, I remember, so, so I'll go ahead and just rewrite this even to, because I'll probably have to. Let's see, so if I did 
um, because I was hypnotized to not write the R. Oh, wait. That's it. That's it. Okay, great. Wait, wait, wait. Because in order for me to include the letter R, um, what I had to do was something along these lines. And then I had to do this in order to keep the T and make it legible. And then um, basically you can kind of see how um, I would compensate for not having an eraser, right? Um, how I would, specifically, but yeah, the hypnosis is really inhibiting me. This is extremely abusive, but regardless of such... Um, so now you can kind of see here um, a little uh, depiction of what's going on um, with the T having to be raised in order to have, um, in order to ensure legibility. Um, basically, let's see, I can probably still actually pull this off too, I bet, because I've had to do this enough. Oof. Dang. Hmm. <sighs> Anyways. Hmm. Let's see if I would be able to do this anyways. Okay, so that's an R. And then, let's see if I raise this up here like this. Um, darken that S right here. Okay, um, you know, it's honestly a little bit like, uh, no, nah, it's too much. Regardless of such, um, dang. So, I mean, you know, like I said, you could kind of see the uh, gist of what I was getting at. I'll show you here. I'll just have to erase it and redo it. Uh, oh, that's right. Another thing that I, um, did too would just be like, um, wiping it um which would actually present produce an effect that looked like um fog or clouds sorry the hypnosis is inhibiting me right now this is abuse so i'm uh, pointing it out that's what's going on that's why i would also in a lot of the videos i would be talking like um because you know it sounds it seems as if i'm talking in a uh, confused or disoriented voice but i'm not confused or disoriented um, due to uh, confusion, exhaustion, or any other reason um, or cause other than just the hypnosis being used to inhibit me. Um, so that that's what's going on there. That's what's... Wow. So, I'm <clears throat> um, and I'm having difficulty speaking right now because of it too. It's also being used as a form of punishment to try to deter me from uh, exposing what is happening to me while it's happening, but... Yeah, this is extremely abusive. So, go ahead and just write the example here. So, Stunger. Okay. And in order to get the R shaped here. Let's see. I've had to do something like that. 
and even doing something like this. Because um, it this represented uh, like you know um, a T can kind of look like a cross. This represents um, the symbolism that Marilyn Manson has used in his music uh, for like you know uh, Antichrist superstar type of uh, theme here. But regardless of such. So you can see here how um, this has been formed in this video specifically. Stronger. Wow. Anyways. See, and then um, this would almost even act as an eraser too. Um, and it would create like a... Uh, um, cloudy like effect as well so um, this is what I uh, was taught to do while I was in jail to cover up those uh, mistakes in handwriting and uh, to kind of like you know be since I had nothing but time to kill while I was in jail Let's see come on focus camera focus just because the hypnosis is inhibiting me doesn't mean that I should be having exper be experiencing technical difficulties because of hypnosis inhibiting me cogn cognitively. Uh, you know what I mean. So, anyways. Dang. Make sure I'm not writing or drawing on the back of these. Um, at least I have some de decent evidence of the hypnosis live now, too. But there we go, there we go, there we go.
Say it as the O. And then I'll draw the N real quickly. Make it closer than that. Come on. Darker too. There we go. There we go. But yeah, um, this is also an example of what would end up happening when the uh, hypnosis was really inhibiting me a lot.